A newly revised coronavirus mortality model predicts nearly 135,000 Americans will die from COVID-19 by early August, almost double previous projections as social distancing measures for curbing the pandemic are increasingly relaxed, researchers said on Monday. The ominous new forecast from the University of Washington's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation reflects rising mobility in most U.S. states, with an easing of business closures and stay-at-home orders expected at 31 states by May 11, the institute said. The projections reinforced warnings from public health experts that a rising clamour to lift restrictions on commerce and social activity in hopes of healing a ravaged economy could exact a staggering cost in terms of human lives. At a virtual town hall on Fox News on Sunday night, U.S. President Donald Trump again upped his death toll estimate, saying that as many as 100,000 Americans could die from the pandemic after making several predictions. The death toll surpassed 68,000 on Monday. Right now we're heading at probably around 60, maybe 65,000. We're probably heading to 60,000, 70,000. Hopefully we're going to come in below that 100,000 lives lost. In New York, the state that accounts for about a third of all U.S. infections, Governor Andrew Cuomo on Monday outlined plans to ease restrictions on a regional basis. Without giving a specific time frame, Cuomo told a daily briefing that construction, manufacturing and wholesale supply chain could be allowed to start up under the first phase of the four-step return to normality. California Governor Gavin Newsom said on Monday that he would ease the state's stay-at-home orders by Thursday, expanding the number of retail businesses that can provide curbside services.